The scariest position to be in as a human is not knowing what you want and what success is to you. And this is, this is in my opinion, it's one of the scariest positions to be in because you don't know why you're putting the foot in front of the other every single day. Okay. And I recently, I, I'll just kind of quickly go into a little bit of story time. I was at a college campus, very, you know, well-known university and uh, considered a very good school nearby where I live. Uh, a lot of kids there and the students, everything. I kind of walked around and met a few friends there, looked at the campus, looked at the students, you know, just observed the environment, what the teachers were saying, everything like that, went to a few classes. And I realized to myself, I was like, this is not success to me. Okay. What the, what the teachers were teaching, you know, I find it uh, very, like, I don't even, I can't really put to words on it, how disrespectful and I think unacceptable it is that teachers are molding, you know, the minds of minds that are very easy to mold right at that age and you know off putting their opinions on them, everything like that everything i was seeing it was not the definition of success to me right and i thought of this and i was like i was thinking to myself i'm like some people don't know what success is right they don't know what success is to them because success is relevant you know it's relative to everyone so it's different for this person different for me different for them like it's different for everyone right and as i thought of this is like most this, these are most of the people my age and this is success to them. They're paying tens of thousands of dollars a year for, you know, this education. And by all means, I'm not, you know, poo-pooing college, but it's more so what the environment I was seeing was definitely not my version of success. And it it really it hit me when I realized that as an entrepreneur's path is definitely a less traveled path. It's more of a lonely path, right? You know, the people you're going to see, you might not resonate with, right? Because majority of people don't want you what you, what you want. You know, as, as a business owner, you know, most people look at this, most of these students would look at me and say, oh, I can't, you know, what's even the point? Why go through so much stress? Why do all this? Why do all that? They would look at me that way. But then when I look at them, I think, oh, you know, this is, I don't agree with, <laughs> I don't think what they're doing is much, you know, much use anyways at this college, everything like that. The point is, is, some people know what success is to them and the other group doesn't. The group that doesn't, that is a very scary situation to be in. It's one of the most, in, in my opinion, the scariest spot to be in because you don't know what you want, right? How, like I've talked about vision, I've talked about your why, I've talked about that stuff on this channel before, but when you don't know what you want, it's really, really, really hard to keep going foot after foot in front of the other every single day and going towards somewhere that you want to go, your destination. You know, you're sailing a ship, but you have no, destination or island you're going to, right? You don't know where you're going, you're just sailing. What's the point of that, right? Like, what? Well, it doesn't make sense. So, as I thought of this more, I thought I'd make a video on it because, you know, as an entrepreneur's path, like I was saying, it's a less traveled path, it's a harder path to go out, go down, you know, considered if you're gonna compare it to maybe getting a job or anything like that, which, of course, you can make the arguments that jobs that can be very stressful, very high demanding, everything like that, of course. Um, but starting a business, is, it's kind of, it forces you to level up as a human way, way quicker. I think I saw a tweet. I don't know what it was the other day. Um, some post was like, you know, as an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur's 10 years is like 20 years to a regular person, right? Like you, an entrepreneur who starts at 15 and goes to 25, they're like a 35 year old, technically at like 25 years old because of how much kind of life experience and how much they've had to level themselves up as an individual forcefully because it's not something that just comes you have to really really force yourself for it and there's a saying i heard the other day which is success is not final failure is not fatal it's the courage to continue that counts and i really believe that as an entrepreneur you really really have to be delusional to your goals and have the courage to get there you know and i i've been boxing recently for anyone that's kind of followed this channel i, I boxed probably since june of this year and you know, I was talking to my coach. I was like, you know, defense is like Floyd Mayweather, right? He's got, he can, he can defend himself. He's very, that's why he's the best because he doesn't get hit, right? And if you think of this, if you compare this to business and life, sometimes the best thing to do in your situation is get punched in the face, is just get punched. Because then how are you supposed to know how to defend the next punch if you don't even get punched in the first place? Same thing with business. If you're too afraid to start the business, how are you gonna know how to start a business, right? You have to go through the failure. You have to get punched in the face. That's just how it is. And it's, I wish it was different. I really, really do. But that's just how it is. But sometimes the best thing you can possibly do is do the hard thing. And that's something I've had to 
kind of grasp myself mentally because it's a, it's a hard thing to grasp. You know, sometimes the hardest thing to do is do the thing you don't want to do, right? Simple enough. But that's been more relative to me for a while. I had a dinner with another successful entrepreneur. Do, he's doing very very well. I think he's almost forty years old. Met him at my boxing gym, and he, you know, kind of imparted that wisdom upon me, which is just like, it's it's sometimes hard. You know, it is like genuinely when I say success is is hard, I really really mean it. And I, by no means, I don't consider myself at all the most successful person in the world because I'm not. But it's a journey to get there, right? But at least I know what I want. And if you're someone who doesn't know what they want, doesn't know where they're going, doesn't know why they're putting the foot in front of the other every day define what you want because without that you know you're you're a feather in the wind you're you're just going to get flown around flown around you don't know where you're going you know and that that group of people is a very very scary place to be in and i think you subconsciously you you know you don't know what you want in a way but you really really have to put into action every single day what you need to do and that's this is a position i've been in before I've used this channel as a lot of just documentation, kind of just sharing the things I've learned in a sense, but really, it is an important thing to do if you haven't done, which is understand what you want, understand where you're going, and remember that sometimes the best thing to do is just get punched in the face, because how are you supposed to defend that next punch if you don't know what the first one feels like, right? Like, that is really, really what it is, and that's something I've had to do a lot, uh, physically <laughs> and in business, right? So. You know whether it be in the in the ring or not in the ring, and and one thing I also remind myself to you know I think most of this audience, most of the people that watch me are more so young entrepreneurs. You know, understand that most people don't even get in the ring. Most people don't want to do it because they look at you. Like I said, most students I was at the campus would look at me like that is not that is not successful in their eyes. Why would you go through all this stress? Why would you go through all this stuff? It's a very risky path, you know, in in comparison, right? Why would you do that? But you need to understand most people won't do it anyways. And it's, again, like I said, it's the courage that to actually continue what counts. And it's it's hard to grasp. It's really, really hard to grasp. But, you know, understand most people won't get in the ring. You're, you have to just, you have to fight it out. And, you know, there's going to be that small majority of people that actually run away from the ring. They don't even go into the boxing ring. They're like, you know, <laughs> get, I don't, I don't want to be a part of that. That's too much, too much on, you know, my life or whatever it is, that excuse they want to bring up. Um, or maybe it's just not from them. And then that small majority of people that try to laugh at you for it, like, understand, it's part of the game. Those people, it's it's a laugh of either jealousy or fear that they couldn't overcome. Very, very simple, but very important to understand as well. So, yeah, I mean, these are just really simple things I've kind of realized. Things like, when I went to this campus, I, I, I was like, I'm going to make a video on this. Because it, it hit me like it hit no one else, right? Everyone else around me didn't think that way. Even the friends I have, they, they didn't think that. It, it was very, very apparent to me, but the path and the journey I've taken is a lot different to them. So understand the people you, you, you're around, you might not relate with. It's sometimes just something, it's a pill you have to swallow, but that's what you signed up for. And I understand that and I have to take that as it is. But there's a lot of perks to it too. You know, it sounds, it sounds kind of sad, it sounds kind of hard. You know, you have to go through it. There's a lot of perks to it too. You don't do it for no reason, right? I, I don't do the things I do for no reason. So, yeah, I mean, that's it for this video. That's the quick lesson, I would say. For, I'm gonna quickly just jump over the goals I have for the end of the year because, like I said, I use the channel for documentation and I think it's a good place to do it. So, for myself, I think I have three, two to three main goals for the end of the year of 2024, ending it out. This is October 27th as I'm recording this right now. First thing is I want to have a visible six pack by the end of the year. I think I've mentioned that before in a previous video, but same goal. I think that's very, very doable. Anyone that knows me, anyone that's watched my videos before, you know, I was overweight at the start of this year, you know, so <laughs> I've gone through from the end of the, at the end of this year, I'll probably make a video of like a whole comparison of kind of just like more so the physical side of myself, like what I had to go through. And by no means is it, is it that hard? It's just discipline. And of course, discipline can be hard at sometimes, but it's, it's easy stuff that, you know, if you can just stay down to a simple routine, simple, you know, things that you have set in place, like whether it be calorie deficits, whatever it is, you can get there. And it's, it's a lot easier than some may overthink, you know, it is to be. So that's first number one goal, which is have a visible six pack by the end of the year. Very, very doable, very possible. And it's going to happen 100%. 
Two, which is builds multiple functioning sales teams within my business. This is kind of going more to the roots of things. Um, I'll switch a little bit of an offer now towards B2C, so uh, business to consumer. So we're actually hitting a little bit more of the consumer, not the businesses anymore. It's a little bit B2B, a little bit B2C. Uh, anyone that knows a little bit about what I do, I made a video on it about how I actually make money today. So feel free to watch that for more context. But building sales teams are one of the hardest things uh, me and my team have had to do. It's very, very difficult. It's tough. It's not easy. Uh, difficult to say the least. So that's one thing we want to have, which each team we can maybe at least two teams by the end of the year is kind of what I'm saying here. And each team, I've, you know, if you think of sales teams, you've got a closer, maybe you've got some setters and they set appointments for the closer, the closer closes them. And each team I want to target around hundred grand a month. So you know, 200 grand a month total there. That's kind of the, the target revenue goal to build sustainably and then we can build more teams as time goes on. And then, you know, I was gonna make a third one, but I'm probably gonna put that in the next, you know, video, which is kind of like the third goal I have. But that being said, that's about it for this video. Again, I jump on here to kind of share the wisdom and the things that I've understood as I'm still, you know, obviously I'm learning a lot to this day and it's none of what I say is like, my, my opinions, my goals have changed a lot over time. And if you look at my 2024 goals video of this year, it, a lot of my goals have changed since then, you know, cause I've changed as a person, I've changed, my perspective has broadened a bit. So that's about it for this video. Hopefully this has made sense. And remember that all the things I'm saying here, take into account, maybe write this down because there are things that I'm going through and I'm learning as I, I just, I use this channel to essentially regurgitate what I learn, you know, week after week and someone who's actually going through it. This is not, you know, someone who's faking it, anything like that. Like I genuinely, genuinely mean it because like I said, I've, I've gone through it. I've documented it. And uh, yeah, I think I've got a pretty cool video coming up within the next couple weeks. Um, I'm making a pretty big purchase for myself. So stay tuned for that. Probably the, the first time I'm really deploying a lot of money into something, I guess you can consider it as an investment, but uh, maybe that gives away a, a clue. So yeah, that being said, that's it for this video.